All right. So I'm back with another hieroglyph. So what is this round one with the stripes in it, and how was it used in ancient Egyptian? That's what I'll get into in just a moment. Welcome to Voices of Ancient Egypt. If you're new here, I'd love it if you'd click subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss future videos like this one. All right, so what is this one? Well, this is actually probably the hardest one for me to tell you what it is of all the hieroglyphs I might describe for you. So you might have read before the sort of older description of this as being a human placenta. Um, you'll find that in Gardner's sign list, for example. But there's actually a whole bunch of different interpretations these days. So some people think it's perhaps a ball of string or perhaps a woven basket, but looking down at the basket from above or even a bread loaf. So I don't know. I can't tell you which one it is. It's hard to say when you just have a circle. Sometimes it has the stripes, sometimes it doesn't. So tell me in the comments, what do you think? Placenta, ball of string, basket, bread loaf? You pick. All right, so how was it used in ancient Egyptian? Well, this is actually the sound of what we call third H. This is what Egyptologists call a third H, which is represented in transliteration as the H with a little curvy line under it. And this was a bit of a guttural kind of sound in Egyptian, a kind of huh. Now, again, I'm a native English speaker, so my pronunciation is not as good as somebody who grew up speaking languages that have these kinds of sounds in it, but basically that's sort of what it's like. So because this is a one consonant sign, like many others we've seen, that means it's extremely versatile, of course, and it can appear in many words. So one really common word where you'll see this is the word chet, which means thing or things. It can be both the singular or the plural. And it's often written with this book roll determinative. And if you're not familiar with what a determinative is, I suggest you pick up my half hour hieroglyphs guide. I'll pop the link for that in the description for you. So it's also though sometimes written without that determinative and just the third H and the T. So you'll see this of course all over the place because as you can imagine, just like in English, we use the word thing a lot. And in ancient Egyptian, they use the word thing an awful lot also. All right. That's it for 3rd H. I'll see you in the next video.